when I have UV sync selection on, I can actually select one of the edges or even the faces and figure out what, oh, see, since that was hidden from my view, I thought we finished again, but we forgot the tail. It's always good to go around your 3D models and make sure that you unwrapped everything. You can see that I don't notice things if it's not in my visual. If I don't see it in front of me, that just means it doesn't exist. I definitely created it, but when you're actually working and you're trying to unwrap everything as quick as possible, you don't really notice that you might have not unwrapped one or two or some of the other separate objects. The back one for sure, which is the tail, is something that I missed. But this one's super easy as the nose. We just have to mark the seam where the opening is and then select the edges in the middle to see how we should align it. And that's pretty much the middle line. As you can see, select everything, rotate it, just get it close to as possible to the middle. And you can just select that middle edge, turn off UV sync selection, select all, then just highlight that middle edge and press align edge. That's pretty much the pattern. If your shape is round like this and you do a simple unwrap like that and then scale it down, scaling it down is entirely up to you. I think if you keep it as big as possible, you have more high quality textures on top of your 3D model. Bigger UVs use up more pixel space that's how you have more high quality textures if you keep it that way but if you don't really care and you're just using solid colors you can just scale it down and save space in your texture file